Back to that big breaking news out of the NFL now. And Tom Brady is returning as the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers next season. He announced it on Twitter earlier this evening. The news coming just six weeks after Brady announced his retirement from football. Sports analyst Eric Mitchell is here with us now. Uh, we saw you just a little while ago talking about his retirement. So welcome back. Uh, what do you make of this oh. shocker? Uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, Tom Brady's a showman. And we all kind of didn't like the way he went out, right? It was leaked before we spent, I, including myself, we spent a week talking about it before Tom officially came out and said I retired. So I'm actually not surprised he's a gamer. And if you look in the last week, this has been the m most exciting week in the off season for the NFL that I can remember with Aaron Rodgers re-signing, Russ Wilson moving over to the Broncos, the AFC West becoming loaded. Tom literally, I guess, didn't want to miss out on all the fun. So he's coming back for his 23rd season in the NFL at age 44. Simply amazing. Do you think this was calculated or do you think this was like a spur of the moment thing? He was watching what was going on and he, he was missing out. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was calculated. I'm pretty sure Tom didn't like the way everything went down with him thinking about retiring. So we, I'm going to say this is calculated. We didn't give him a good well a goodbye tour, right? A retirement tour where he gets to go to every stadium. Now, here's a funny story. Someone just a few days ago bought his last TD pass for $500,000 at an auction. I guess they're not feeling pretty safe about that we money just today. We heard but. about that. That is such an unfortunate buy. Um, and it seemed right. like he was on the fence just weeks ago and it was first being reported that he was going to retire. So why not just wait a couple more months to make the final decision? Do you think he was pressured and goaded into it by this big media circus that went on? I mean, you, you saw that when when Ben Rosenberger retired, same thing. Are, are you going to come back? Like, they're so quick to ask you if you're going to retire. They wouldn't leave the man alone. I mean, that was the story in the NFL between the last game, the Bucks when they lost to the Rams, and the Super Bowl. It was all Tom Brady. I mean, I think he just gave into the pressure. I, I mean, I can't speak for Tom himself, but Tom's such a showman. And I just found it odd he retired so easily. Like, yeah, I'm just going to quit. That doesn't seem right for him. And even Bruce Arians said it just a few days ago. The Bucks head coach said, we never really shut the door on it. And it's never been really a quiet story because the San Francisco 49ers have been an option. Actually, he's from, you know, San Mateo, California. So it would make sense for him to go there. But he puts out this tweet and it came from him. No one else. I'm back. Yeah, and we're all checking it, in the newsroom to make sure it was a, a, the real thing. All right, Eric Mitchell, right. thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us tonight. I'm sorry we're out of time. And we'll be right back.